All right. Let's press you out, little boy. Hello, what's up? What's up? It's been a while. It's been a while. What's up? Okay, we are gonna brush Brody out. He's overdue. Say hi, buddy. Say hi to you two. Say hi to you two. We are gonna be testing some new products. So, obviously, we have the Fluff Juice and the Brody brush, but you're coming out with some metal, we're gonna come out with a metal comb, so I'm testing out the prototypes, which one's best. And then we have a bunch of little mini slicker brushes for paws, face, and small dogs. And then we have like a rake with moving pins. That's for dogs like Luna, who is right here. We'll even test this out. Bubba, you need to be brushed. What is up, everyone? I'll answer questions too, so I'll try to pay attention to the chat. Today we are streaming vertical. Wanna try that out? Usually I do landscape, but I think vertical is the move. All right, so also we have a new Floof Juice formula. Um, this one's thinner, so it sprays a lot easier and it's a little lighter. I've been testing out, I really like it. There's less buildup. So I might go with that in the future. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, let's brush them. We're gonna start by unlocking the bottle and just coating him in the fluff juice, letting it marinate, rubbing it in a little bit. Love the smell. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a second. What's up? We are doing, we're doing well. I haven't given you guys a house tour yet. You guys are gonna get a house tour this week. Ben, the cameraman is gonna come over and we're gonna do like an MTV crib style house tour. All right, we're just letting it soak in a little bit, the floof juice before we start brushing. Brody gets all the girls, yeah, low key he does. Is it better to begin brushing out mats first with slicker or comb? Definitely the slicker. So if you, you find a matted area, um, what I would do is spray it with floof juice, let it sit a little bit, then break it up with your fingers. Like if I find a mat on him, like I'll break it up like this, separate it with your fingers, and then you hit it with a slicker brush. And then once you hit it with a slicker brush, then you do the metal comb. You consider buying fluff shoes for your Australian Labradoodle? Do it. Great for all doodles. All right. So this is the Brody brush. First, gonna hit it. Whoops. Alexa, volume five. Brody is four years old. Slick back the hair like a club promoter. Brush under the chin a little bit. Uh, the floof juice, is, floof juice is great for golden retrievers. The Brody brush it's not ideal for like a golden retriever coat. This is more for long haired hair versus fur, which is what golden retrievers have. Um, one of these, like a rake or metal combs are awesome for golden retrievers. All right, this is the new formula fluke juice. I wanna test it out a little bit. Spray is a lot thinner.
how did I come up with the name Brody? Um, I get that question a lot. I just wanted a dog named Brody. At the time, one of my favorite basketball players, his nickname was Brody, but I just liked it because, I don't know, it just happened to fit Brody's personality so well. He ended up being such a, such a Brody. He is a person in a dog suit. That's our secret. He acts like a little person too. What's up in the Philippines? Where's Luna? Resting in her corner. I gotta show you guys, you'll get a full house tour this weekend. That's a sneak peek. That got me very dizzy. Sorry, had a FaceTime call. Even though my phone's in Do Not Disturb, I don't understand how that went through. Um, what's the coolest trick he can do? He can, uh, he can hang out a car window with goggles on his arm hanging out the side, just chilling. That's my favorite trick he does. I don't care about the traditional sit, stay, roll over. Every dog can do that. I like the Brody, the Brody tricks that most dogs can't do. I keep knocking this over. <sighs> we have not been to the UK on the list, but I think our next, our next international country, or our, our next international trip is gonna be Tokyo. Really wanna make that happen. With cameraman Ben, one of my other friends, be out there for like 10 days to two weeks um, and let Brody see Tokyo. We wanna go at the end of April when the cherry blossoms are blooming. It'll be really cool. You wish to meet Brody one day? You can. Brody travels a lot. Brody can be in your city when you least expect it. When we run into people in the airport and ran, we go to such like small, we were just in Webster, Texas, and like we saw so many fans and they're like, we never expected to see you in Webster. Neither, we didn't expect to be there. We go, we just travel so much that you never know when we'll pop up in your town. Blossom Cook, thank you for the super chat. Luna is six years old. Luna's turning seven and Brody's turning five this year. Uh, Brody hasn't visited any army installations. Come to Dubai. I would love to go to Dubai. I'm really big into cars and like the car scene over there is awesome. I just don't know. So one thing I learned is we just visited Toronto and in Toronto I realized that the dog culture there is not like up to par, like what we see in the States. And I kind of feel like that might be the same thing with Dubai. I don't know if Dubai is super dog friendly. You know, it's just a, cultu a cultural thing. So I try to avoid places that are not gonna be very dog friendly. And obviously I don't know that for a fact, but just my inclination. But yeah, Toronto, I was pretty disappointed. Um, overall with Canada and just like if you have a pet you can't even in Toronto you can't even bring your pet to like outdoor seating areas of restaurants and like they're just seen much more as dogs animals there and not family from my experience Dubai is really dog friendly everyone loves dogs there well Maybe I'll consider to buy. Australia would be a lot of fun. It's just so far. It's like a 19 hour flight from Florida and you have to do like a layover in China. Um, it, just, it just might be too far. And it's pretty similar as far as environment goes to Florida. So I don't know if it's worth, like Tokyo is worth it. It's just so unique. It's just gonna be a, such a new experience. Are we planning any dog collabs? 
Valentine's Day is coming up. Brody does have a Valentine. If you know, you know who his girl, who his girl is. So we might be doing a, a Valentine's Day collab. I've had Brody since the day he was born. I birthed, I delivered him. Um, how long do I groom him for? Well, when I do lives, it takes a really long time to groom because I'm reading the chat. Let me concentrate just a little bit. All right, we're doing the arms. I usually start off with the front arms, get out a little mat to the paws. Is the music too loud? Music good? You look so good, buddy. Will I get another golden doodle? Two dogs for me is my limit, but there could be something coming in the future. Maybe, maybe I'll let you know what my ideas are one day. Do you think you'll get influence, pet influencer of the year again? Um, I don't think we'll do any more of those pet influence, like those award things. Um, this is a prototype comb I've been using. If we launched this, we would come out with a different color, something to match the Flute by Brody Miami Vice color scheme, so not dark blue. But this, this metal comb has been really, really good. It's super strong, which you need for like a coat like Brody's. So after I hit the slicker brush, then I, look at that. Woo, look at that flow. Um, then I hit it with a metal comb like this. And you really need to do this to get out that undercoat, the matting underneath the knots, the tangles. Big fan of this comb. I think this is the one I want to launch. I didn't even try these other ones because they're so basic looking. It's like these just look like any other metal comb, but like this one is a lot more slick, more aesthetic. How often do I do this? So he gets professionally groomed every two weeks by Yo, the groomer. Um, and then in between those, during those two weeks, I just, like, I'm supposed to do this like three times a week at least. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been slacking a lot. We travel so much and like, I just haven't been on top of it. So honestly, lately I've been doing it like twice a week. Once or twice, even sometimes once a week. I can sit down in a chair. I use my dining room table to brush Brody. I don't even eat here. I just use it as a grooming table. Teddy Waffles, what's up? How do I get Brody going? Do you get comfortable on rides? Um, you mean bike rides or car rides? Bike rides? Um, honestly, Brody is just okay with doing whatever as long as I'm there. So if I'm next to him, look at this, all from the undercoat. If I'm with him, he's gonna be comfortable. He just trusts me a lot. We have a really close bond. Sometimes you have to work your dog into it though. So, you know, start off with small baby steps and work into like the full on rides and stuff. Luna, grandma, it's been a while since Luna saw grandma. So we're overdue for a trip. We got invited to three fashion shows for New York Fashion Week, which is like less than two weeks away. So we're gonna be going to New York City and we might see grandma there. We're too close and so close. All right. Um, thank you, thank you. You're close to a thousand subs. If you want to grow on YouTube, post shorts. Just post shorts every single day for three months, and I promise your account will get subs. 
It takes about three months of consistent posting. Once you do that, you'll grow, if that's your goal. All right, we're gonna brush Brody's butt and back now. I have to go to the tailor today and get my measurements and Brody's measurements. I'm gonna bring Brody to the tailor and get him measured for matching suits for New York Fashion Week. Here at 881, almost there. Is Brody a service or a therapy dog? Technically he's a service dog, which allows him access rights to children's hospitals and stuff to do therapy work. No, I can't see the camera's too far. Can we do get a Brody spray in India? So we're coming to Amazon. Boop him. We're coming to Amazon um, this year in March, I think. So we shouldn't maybe be able to do international shipping. Our most requested countries are Australia, um, Canada, and the UK. You sub, thank you. If you guys aren't subscribed, please like this stream and then subscribe. It helps our channel a lot and um, keeps us motivated. It keeps Brody getting lots of kisses, love. I'm just kidding, he'll get lots of kisses and love even if you don't subscribe, but please subscribe. He didn't want his backside on the camera, I know. Bubba, turn around. Let's turn around. Let's push your butt. He wants to be facing the camera. He wants to read the chat. Okay. Bubba, turn around. Turn around. Alright. Bubba, you gotta turn around. He just wants to face me. He wants to be in the direction that I am. Right there. Wait right here. Wait, wait, wait. You keep seeing that when I said cut your hair to that one lady. I hate when people tell me cut his hair. We were in the airport and some guy told me to cut his hair. I told him the same thing, cut your hair. Alexa, volume four. Just, it just feels rude. I don't know. And I have to, I spend so much of my lifetime and money keeping him maintained at this level. And then so someone who's just ignorant, like cut his hair, bro. You know how much this floof is worth? Alexa, volume four. Alexa, volume three. <sighs> no, Bubba, don't turn around. He just wants to look at the camera. We'll give him his man bun in a second. Imagine if he just wore his hair like this. All right, we're gonna try out so these are some test brushes we have for our next product launch. These are really good for the face. I'm gonna try this one. Let's see, does this one? Oh yeah, look at that, Bubba. It's so much gentler. You like this one? Oh, you like this one so much better. He doesn't like getting his face brushed. So having a smaller, gentler, smaller needle slicker brush is pretty good for this area. We're gonna get some floof juice in that beard. The floof juice smells amazing. And when your dog has a long beard like this, this is where the water sits and the food sits. So it starts to stink. So you gotta make sure you pay attention to this area. Don't worry, I'm never cutting his hair. I had an interesting call yesterday 
It's about a kind of controversial topic. I'm curious what you guys think. What do you guys think about cloning, cloning your dog? I, had, I was talking with a cloning lab, just asking some questions. They clone dog, it's the only cloning lab in the US. They clone dogs, cats, and horses, and the clones come out exactly like the original. I mean, nothing will ever be the original like Brody, but it'll look exactly like Brody and, be, and have the same genetic predisposition. You don't know, no. You heard about cloning pets, it's not exact though. No, cloning sounds creepy. Although it's not a guarantee, they'd be the same. I would, you would love to clone your dog so you can have more. That's a no. I see a lot of no's. Traits. Um, so basically, the dogs would look, the dog looks the same. What they do is they take a DNA sample, they preserve it, and they hold it to whenever you want to clone. And then they insert it in an empty embryo, and then a surrogate mother carries the puppy to term. And the puppy, sometimes you have multiple, they look, they're a genetic match, so they're a genetic twins. So if I put the clone next to Brody, you wouldn't even know. There's even some Brody siblings that I could put next to Brody, the ones that have their hair grown out, and you wouldn't know the difference either. Obviously personality, but a lot of a dog's personality is genetic predisposition. It's just, Luna has always been the way she is. When I got her from the breeder, the breeder said she's very spunky and she's hard-headed, blah, blah, whatever. And she was, and she's been that way since she was a puppy. She's had lots of professional training, but she is the way she is. Um, obviously there's nurture that plays a role in the dog's personality development, but um, a lot of it is genetic. And so while you might not have an exact personality match, you have a chance to have a lot of the personality traits matched. Luna is Luna, that's for sure. When is the Luna's kids reunion? Um, that's a great question. In February this month, I want to plan, I want to rent out a pet resort and, um, have a big reunion with Luna, Rusty, who is all the puppy's father, a standard poodle, and um, as many of the puppies that are able to attend. Because, you know, they, some live in Turkey, some live in California, some live in Ohio, some live in New York. They're all over the Texas, they're all over the country. So there's a lot in Florida, and I think some will travel, but um, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kasaf. Does Brody get a lot of mats? Is there a lot of knots? Um, I try to, he does get knots and mats at times, but I try to brush him often to detangle. And if you consistently brush, use the floof juice, use the Brody brush, you can keep um, matting and knotting away. All right, buddy, we gotta do your butt again. Can you please turn around? Yeah, turn around, Bubba. Turn around. Turn around. Good boy. And then we'll even de-shed Luna a little bit. We'll try to de-shed Luna. All right. It's just easier if I move the camera. Luna's in the corner sleeping. I'll show you guys Luna in a second. We haven't been to Finland. Hello from the Philippines. <clears throat> yeah, the puppy reunion is going to be so much fun. Do you ever let Brody's hair go natural, not brush? So if you don't brush a doodle's hair, like if you have a dog with this length of hair and you don't brush them, it's going to be matted. Like there's no question about it. It'll be matted, which means the hair gets all clumped up and knotty and then like sits close to the skin and pulls on the skin so which one um which is really unhealthy for the dog and it'll probably have to be shaved so this is called line brushing so you see how i brush the top 
and it's smooth. Then you want to lift it up and brush underneath it, and you continue it all the way down the leg, like this. Whoops. Floof juice it up. Do I like Trek bikes? You have two of them. You have a mountain bike and your dad has a street bike. Um, yeah, we used to be sponsored by Trek. Um, so I have a Trek Madone and I have a Trek Damani, Damone, I forget the name of it. It's the electric one, but I do like Trek bikes. But honestly, I don't really road bike, like normal cycle bike anymore. I, for the most part, I use my e-bike. Um, yeah. Floofy butt, floofy booty. And you have to apply pressure. Some of you might be thinking this is a tough on, this is tough on him or this is a lot of, you know, this might hurt him. It doesn't. Doodles have a double coat, so there's a coat that's underneath this top layer, and to get to it, you have to push the slicker pins into the coat a bit. You don't want to scratch the skin, so you don't want to go too crazy, but to get that bottom coat, you need to apply pressure. Is it easy to take care of, Brody? No. I would say Doodles might be the highest maintenance dogs in the world of any crossbreed or breed. I don't think there's there are coats that are tougher than doodle coats to maintain at this length, just cause of the consistent brushing required and the grooming appointments. So now I'm using the metal comb, we're going through, getting that undercoat. Brody hasn't been groomed in like three weeks, professionally groomed, so he usually goes every two weeks, but Yo's schedule is really busy, I was traveling, so it's gonna be a month in total between grooming appointments, which is a long time. All right, now you can see the difference between a floofed leg and a non-brushed leg. See how the, the hair is still, is still stranded together. It's not brushed out to the skin like this is. This is floofed, not floofed. Floof juice, Brody brush. This is unbrushed for four days, for four days probably only. Luna is fixed, so she will not be having any more kids. Name a car, Urus. Urus. Lamborghini Urus. My favorite. My dream car. How'd I train him to stand still? Um, I've been grooming him for three years. It used to be very hard. He would just be very fidgety when we first started. Um, so you start with small, short sessions, you know, one minute brushing. Then you go to three minutes, then you go to five minutes. And now Brody can stand for four hours when he gets professionally groomed sometimes. Um, which shampoo and tonic do you recommend a lab for Labrador hair? I don't know what tonic is. Like tonic is like salts or water to me. Um, but shampoo, I like to use, well, what I use is the Floof by Brody Every Dog Shampoo and the Floof by Brody Every Dog Conditioner. Um, you wanna do something also, it depends with the condition of your dog's coat, but degreasing the hair is also sometimes pretty useful. It's like a degreaser. Do I use paw moisturizer? Sometimes. It's, it's nighttime in your country. Look at this, we're making good progress, everyone. Look at this floofy little booty.
Brody's almost done, and then we're gonna do Luna. I haven't, Luna is probably not gonna be as good. Well, I know she's not gonna be as good, but we're gonna try the new brush prototype we have for dogs like German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, Labs, short fur dogs, medium length fur, because the slicker brush is not ideal for their coats. We've been trying different shampoos. Um, they haven't been working. Um, so, I mean, the shampoo is just, honestly, a shampoo and conditioner is, is not the most important part. It's, it's, it's not even close to the most important. The most important part is the spray, like a leave-in conditioner spray that you're using frequently that moisturizes, nourishes the hair, um, like floof juice, and um, with consistent brushing. That's what's the most important thing. Shampoo and conditioner only does so much. Melanie, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brody can't see. We're gonna put his hair tie in in five seconds and he'll get all his vision back. Just wanna make sure he's nice and poofy. All right, Bubba, you can turn around, show everyone how you look. Now, this wasn't a full, full grooming. Like, I didn't do his undercarriage, like his belly, but it's good enough for a maintenance brush for now. Okay, and we're gonna put his hair tie in. A floof tie, of course, Brody's favorite color. How does the fur around his bum stay clean when he goes to the toilet? So that's called a sanitary cut. Um, and it's like when you're, when you're getting your dog groomed, you can say, yeah, can you please trim the sanitary areas? And like they kind of cut it in a way where it prevents from collecting. What's up, Foxy? I noticed you. 12C25, thank you for the super, appreciate it. How'd I come up with the name of the channel? Well, his name is Brody, and he is a doodle, and it kind of plays on that dude, like dude person, Brody that dude. So he's Brody that doodle, Brody that dude. All right, we gotta get this, this is an important part. We're gonna show the, the man bun formation. It's not a ponytail, it's a man bun. So I like, there's two different styles. Like, so normal, the man bun is just pulled back like this. Thank you for the super, Danica. Do Brody and Luna always get along? Yeah, they never actually fight serious. They play rough a little sometimes, but never actually seriously fight. Um, all right, so this is like his normal man bun, right? But I do like doing like a top knot palm tree type thing, which is more at the center of the head. Like, so it's less of the hair from the back of the head. And it's just the front and the center. And I always think this looks really cute when it's like this, like that. So that much, boom, give him his little palm tree. Try to keep it centered so it doesn't become a side pony like he's an 80s aerobics instructor. Give it a little floof. Let's see. Bubba, you are just, you're just a really cute boy. We didn't get it perfectly centered. Let me see. It's not perfectly centered, but it'll work. Now we're gonna do Luna. Okay. All done, Bubba. Good job. And now after he's done getting brushed, he likes to rub his head and his body all over the couch. So my prediction is I'm gonna take him off the table. He's gonna run over to the couches right behind the camera and he's gonna rub his head all over it, rub his body all over it. It's his tradition, it's his ritual. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, Bubba, all done. All done, you can come off. Ready, we're gonna lift you up. Three, two, one, up. Let's see. Let's see if I was right. He's looking at the couch. He's walking over to the couch. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna be normal? Is he gonna go rub all over the couch? Let's see. He heard me, he heard me, so now he doesn't want to do it. All right, it's Luna's turn, Mama's turn. 
Let's go get mama. You gonna rub on the couch, buddy? Not right now. You're gonna wait till I start brushing, I bet. Okay. Let's go get Luna. Here she is. Come on, Luna, it's your turn. Let's try out the new, let's try out the new rake, the new de shedder tool. Come on. Like I said, she's not gonna be as compliant. Let's go. Uh, this is Luna, Brody's mom. She's never been on the, the grooming table before. Let's see how she likes it. We're gonna try out this tool. This is, I don't even know the full name of it. It is like a de shedder rake, good on golden retrievers. The pins wiggle. They like jiggle and it helps loosen up the, the fur for brushing. All right, little girl. Let's see. We're gonna spray her with some floof juice. Luna stinks sometimes. She's a little stinky girl. And then we're gonna... Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that, getting all that hair off, all that fur so it doesn't end up on my carpets, floors, and couch. Look at that, it's like three brushes and we got all this, this hair out. Let's see who has a bigger floof pile at the end. This is Brody's. And this is Luna's. We'll see who collects the bigger pile. Yeah, I gave Brody a man bun. It was more of a pineapple palm tree. Brody, let me see it. He's in carpet mode right now. All right. Luna, let's finish brushing you. This is going to be quick. Don't worry. This tool works really well, wow. I told the team that I didn't think I want to come out with this tool yet, but geez, this thing works great. Yeah, Brody's in chill mode now. Because the Brody brush that we have out right now is not good for golden retrievers. I mean, it works for golden retrievers, but it's not ideal. Like you want to use a tool like this and a metal comb, but this really works well. Gets all out that, that excess fluff. Dang, I'm gonna tell the team that I think I want to come out with this product. I don't like the dark green handle. I would change the color to either turquoise or like a pink or a purple maybe. Something Miami Vice, Miami Vice vibe. But this is ridiculous. Whoa. This feels good. I know this tool feels good. It just feels like they're getting their back scratched. They're just getting pets. I can tell if Luna didn't like it, she would let us know. She is not shy. Okay. Now we're gonna brush the tail. She has a really fluffy tail. Wow, you smell so good, Luna. You smell like the floof juice. The floof juice, if you haven't smelled it yet, it's it's a uh, hints of vanilla, honey, oat. It's very calming. It's a very calming scent. It smells like cuddles. I picked it out myself. I didn't want to do like a fruity or a citrusy flavor or a citrusy scent, so. That's what most products on the market usually smell like. I want to do something a little different, a very unique scent. I love this smell. This is crazy. How much hair this gets out. Luna almost has much fluff on the table as Brody. Um, um, we're going to try and come international. We're, 
we're trying. We just wanted to launch in the U.S. first, um, but we want to come out international. We're going to be at the Global Pet Expo in March, which is in Orlando. Hopefully we meet some distributors and stores. We've already started launching wholesale and some, you know, like boutique groomers. Um, but yeah, we want to come out to as many places so everyone can get their hands on some floof juice. Luna is a pretty girl. That is a fact. They said you're pretty, Luna. Say thank you. Behind the ears is a common place Goldens get matted. Well, all dogs get matted. Um, so you want to pay attention there. And look at that. A lot less real estate. Luna's nice and tiny, so it's very easy to brush her. And we're done, Luna. Well, maybe we'll run across. So I like this also. This is kind of a cool tool, but it's just not strong enough. I was using it on Brody and like the handle. It's just not strong enough. So I didn't, I don't think we're going to release this. But like for Luna, this would probably be pretty good. Hmm. I don't even like it that much, honestly. This this metal comb is so much better. This is the one I want to come out with. Oh yeah. Wow, look at look at that. Hi Caramel. It's your hamster's first birthday. Well, happy birthday, Caramel. And also. Hamsters hibernate. Remember that. So one day, if caramel looks like they're sleeping, or like not sleeping, but you know, worse, they're not, they're hibernating. They're not, don't do a funeral for caramel if she's just in a deep sleep. A lot of people bury their hamsters. They don't realize they're just, Hibernating. I saw TikToks about it. Or YouTube shorts. Sorry, not TikToks. Here. Wow. Look at that. Good job, Luna. I think you guys deserve treats. You guys both did so great. All right. Let's go get them some treats. Yeah? You want treats, Luna? You did so good. You deserve a treat. All right. You need help getting off the table, though. Let me help you. Who wants treats? Do you guys want treats? Luna's gonna rub herself on their dog bed. Okay, let's have some class, Luna. All right, let's get some treats, come on. All right. Brody, come here. Everyone come here if you guys want treats. All right, let's see. Shout out to Possum Delights. They sent us some treats. These are wild caught sardines. This is Luna. So Luna is allergic to everything pretty much except fish. So these are Luna's treats. Luna, can you sit? I know you can sit. All right. I, I use different types of treats. This is what I have right now. Um, can I have a paw? What about the other paw? Okay. Want some more? Here, show the camera how you munch. Come here. Luna, come. Now, Brody, also, Possum Delights, shout out, thank you. These are beef, which Luna can't have, but Brody can. Now, see, Brody, he's a gentle little boy. Brody takes his treats, and instead of just eating them where I give them, he takes them, and he has to eat them in private. Like, he has to take them to the couch, 
and make a big mess. So we're not gonna let him go to the couch. We're gonna try to make him eat it here. But he don't run away with it. So he's just gentle, he'll hold it in his mouth. He'll walk away with it and put it on something like the couch or the carpet. No, Bubba, come here. Bubba, Brody, Brody, eat it over here. Eat it over here. Come on. Bubba, no, 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 eat it over here. Come here, come here. Not on the, not on the carpet, not on the carpet. You're gonna make a mess, dude. See? <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's eat it over here. And then Luna just sits waiting to steal the treat. Bubba, eat it over here. Come here. Eat it here. Here. I gotta like hold my hand underneath his mouth so it doesn't get crumbs everywhere. Like this. He just makes such a mess, dude. This is not an efficient way to eat treats. Like he just like spreads it out, drops it everywhere. <laughs> this is not how you eat treats, man. Just gobble it, gobble it up. Maybe he just doesn't like him that much. This is how he is with all his treats. He's just so gentle. Look at all that mess. Now Luna's gonna clean it up. I got a vacuum. Look at that. Look at what he did. That's ridiculous, dude. It's just predictable. He just doesn't, he likes to enjoy him on a, on a chair, on a carpet, on a soft surface. Luna's like, let me at it. As soon as he, he walks away, I'm gonna eat all that. There's just two different types of dogs. Luna is six, Brody is four. Happy birthday, Alpha. Um, all right, and that is how you successfully groom two puppies, and that's why they look the way they do, which is floofy and magnificent. You can try the floof juice, the Brody brush, the floof shampoo, the floof conditioner, the floof ties. I think it's all linked. I think you can even get it. Like, yeah, if you press the little shopping bag on the live, you can pick it up. Thank you guys for joining. You like my plant? It's a real plant. I've kept it alive for like two months now. Um, they look beautiful, thank you. And then I just sit here and I edit videos for you guys. I lay on my big Brody pillow. Luna stands in the corner and gets one pet. And then if I stop, she demands more. All right, Luna. Okay. Thank you guys for joining. We're gonna have a full tour of the paw pad, which is the name of the house that Brody and Luna get to enjoy. Look at that. I even had skylights just for content. All right, everyone. So please like this stream. Press like, 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 like. <coughs> Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, Thank you. Stay tuned. Sunday, we will be uploading a long form video. There it is. I told you he was going to rub himself on the couch. <clears throat> Took a little bit, but here we go. I'll let you guys watch what he does on the couch. I don't think these couches are going to last very long because of him and Luna always doing this. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye. Luna, you want to say bye? Say bye. Bye, guys.